Those who can see through the fading glories of this dying world, which isn't to say we're all dying where we are, it's to say that the system is dying and the administration is dying. But those who see through it and see through to the truth behind it all, which is that we are being misled and, and the voice that has been crying out in the wilderness the voice says that have been crying out in the wilderness are getting louder and closer to being proven to be true. So to you, here is this, we hope, finally correct summary of all the maledictions on mankind from God. Which maledictions have prevented Jesus coming? And they're the only thing that prevented him coming. So here I am, I'll designate myself for the purpose of this talk to be Pope Maledict the last, and we have finally discovered when the last malediction runs. We had it already, it's the, we, this church itself is responsible for a bunch of maledictions. There are four Gentile times. There is the prophetic Gentile times of 25-20 years with a Maccabean gap, which ran from 607 Tishri 15 to 1914. Tishri 15 continuously, but because of the 95 year Maccabean gap, it actually runs all the way to 2009 Tishri 15. Then there is the Kingdom Gentile Times, which adds to that take seven years, taking us to 2016 Tishri 15. Then there is the Laodicean Gentile Times, adding seven months to that, taking us to 2017 ER 15. And that is why I said to Jeff, he's a, a guy in this church, I promised him that I'd buy him a curry on ER 16 if we weren't in the ark because the way we get out of the rulership of Satan is to go into the ark and <laughs> on ER 16 I had to buy him a curry and the, the reason for that is there was one more Gentile times that I hadn't considered which is on this church and the LW Gentile times is a further seven months that takes us from ER 15 2017 to Chislev 15 2017 and then on Chislev 16 2017 which is, I mean, today is Chislev 9, so it's in a week's time. We will hopefully be celebrating the marriage of the third Holy Spirit with the, uh, of the first bunch of watchtower Passover reserves to, the, to Jesus in the Ark, one day after the end of the expiration of the, the fourth Gentile time. The reason there's four of them is in Daniel 7, there was a dream that Nebuchadnezzar had. And then he recited the dream to Daniel. And then Daniel interpreted the dream. And then the dream was fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar. So you have a dream, you have a recital, you have an interpretation, and you have a fulfillment. And no word of God is wasted. And, and the, the, words, the words, seven times will pass over it, appear four times in that account. Once in the dream, once in the recital, once in the interpretation, once in fulfillment. And that gives you four greater meanings. The literal meaning still stands of seven years when Nebuchadnezzar was living as an animal and was forced away from his kingdom until they all came back and found him after seven years. But in the greater meaning you have the discontinuous Gentile times, that's the fulfillment. You have the dream, which is actually the malediction of the kingdom, Gentile times, and the same thing in the first presence. You have the recital, which is actually the malediction on the Lord's Witnesses for seven months, and you have the interpretation, which is the malediction on the Leo Science for seven months. So finally, the four repetitions of the same phrase, and seven times shall pass over it, we understand all four of them. And until you understand all four of them, you don't get the, com the, the complete picture of all of the Gentile times maledictions, which we now have, which take you from 607 Tishri 15 all the way to Chislev 15 2017, which is this, well Chislev 15 is actually a Sabbath, it's the Sabbath coming, December the 8th, 9th. So that is the story of the Gentile times, and that is why even today Jesus is not our Caesar. He is he's not maledicted anymore through his wife, the Holy Spirit, but we are. But that malediction ends at the Sabbath coming, which is, which is December 8-9, Friday, Saturday. Now, we did have the second fire sign occurring, along with the third at the Zohar Pentecost, the late, late Zohar Pentecost, Chislev 5. 
That was incorrect, and we now understand why, apart from the facts in Latin, which is that in 1 Kings 18, the, 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 it's, it's the, to do with the definition of a generalised Pentecost or a super Pentecost. So you have a zero Sabbath, you count seven Sabbaths, and then you have a 50 count to the next day. Okay, So they don't have to be weekly Sabbaths. In, in the Law of Moses, of course, they were weekly Sabbaths, although in the 2NC Pentecost, they are virtual Sabbaths. But in the greater meaning, they can be any form of Sabbath, a festival Sabbath, a virtual Sabbath, weekly Sabbath, whatever you want. However, the final festival must be a 50 count, not a late 50 count, which is 30 more. So the late Zoa Pentecost is actually all right, because it's a, it is a 50 count from Heshvan 2, the late first fruits. But the late, late Zoa Pentecost is not a 50 count. It's 30 days after a 50 count. So it couldn't have been a fulfillment of 1 Kings 18. Understanding that discounts a lot of the potential Pentecost that we thought were fire sign dates in the future. And now we only have six divine Pentecosts. What, six between now and the Mark of the Peace coming in this sixteen? Seven Seven between now and when we believe peace and security is declared on ER 16, 2018, which is nine months of the pregnancy of a woman of 1 Thessalonians 5, 3, before the birth of the kingdom, which is the appointment of the kingdom on, on Shabbat 16, 2018 on the third day after the end of Zohar. So nine months before then is when peace and security is declared. And there are 12 possible fire sign dates now that we have. The second fire sign we have on Chislev 10, which is the, the 90th Watchtower Bali and Pentecost from 2005 7 and 10, which is 4,500 BLC days from 2005 7 and 10 when the Watchtower fell as a true church. We have that. And then we have the 91st, 92nd and 93rd of those. Then there's the Laodicean Bali and Pentecost, which is actually the 28th of those, counting from 2013 Shabbat 1, when they fell as a true church, which is 1400 days after then. That takes you to, to 2017 Chislev 21, which is the late 2NC Pentecost, which is the third fast sign. So the second fast sign is at the 90th Watchtower Bali and Pentecost Chislev 10, which is December 3 4, and the third fast sign is, is now the 2NC Pentecost, late 2NC Pentecost, on 2017 Chislev 21, which is also the uh, 28th Laodicean Bali and Pentecost, which is perfect because the contest was between. 50 counts of prophets between Elijah and 450 prophets above, 400 of Asherah who never showed up, and 100 of Jehovah hidden in a cave. So you've got 50 counts of divine prophets of, of Jehovah and 50 counts of false prophets. So to have the fulfillment, the final fire sign on what is both a Baalian Pentecost and a divine Pentecost is perfect. We've never seen that before. I think that's it. And, and also, I always did want a fulfilment in Bali and Pentecost because the, the contest is against Prophet Baal, for goodness sake. So there should be a Bali and Pentecost fulfilment. And we now have that. And we now have all the 12 possible Pentecostal dates, which I think will stick on in the, the writing for this video. I won't recite them all now. Right, now as regards this Chislev 10 date, it's fascinating because Peter appears or, sorry, the chief of the army of Jehovah appears to Joshua in Joshua 5.13 and he, he stands before Joshua, the Hebrew before, not two faces of, but before, with drawn sword in his hand and he gives him the priestly command to take off his sandal, off his foot. And he's standing therefore as a high priest and he did that, he got appointed, the, the third Holy Spirit was appointed as Aaron, the high priest of this church, on L16 2017, after the end of the Kingdom Alienation Times on 2017, Tammuz 7, appointed to Zoa, so it was late Zoa first fruits they got appointed. It's the third appointment after the second Holy Spirit, and, and then the first wing of the third Holy Spirit, which is the first presence wing of the third Holy Spirit. The third appointment is the whole third Holy Spirit, and so that happens at a third installation date, which is the third. So Pentecost, which is the late, late Zohar Pentecost, which was 2017, Chislev 5. And then, if he's got a drawn sword in his hand and he's standing before Joshua, that counts as six times, that takes you to Chislev 11, and that's indeed when he turns up upon the cloud of the Chislev 10 second fire sign. And the reason we know he turns up then, apart from that count, is that he says, take the sandal off your foot. And then it says Joshua did like that. And when you have that, those two 
phrases, you have a command and a fulfillment of it, you add up this sentence count of the pair of them, which is five times take the sandal off your foot. Sandal upon the foot is six times. Take the sandal off and left with a foot, which is five times. Do that and do do like that, you get two lots of five, which is ten. And ten on to Chislev 11 takes you to Chislev 21, and that is when we take the sandal off the foot, because it's the two and seat Pentecost when the Holy Spirit is poured out into the church and everything gets going. So that's when we start baptizing non JWs. We don't baptize any fast time responders who are non JWs till Chislev 21. Prior to that, we concentrate on the JWs because they're the ones being passed over. They're the ones who've got to be saved in the short term. So that's one reason why Chislev 11 is the correct date, because it's 10 days before the sandal should come off the foot. Another reason is that the concubine of Judges 19 falls with her hands upon the threshold, and she falls at the entrance to the house of the, of the man, which is 12 times, and that's from Chislev 10. She falls at the fire sign, second fire sign, and she is baptized into the church on Chislev 21. That's when Leodicea joins and when the non-JWs join. Uh, but on Chislev 13, we start seizing the prophets of Baal, the JWs, and on Chislev 10, 11, 12, we can baptize one NC reserves. So that's how that works. Solomon's Temple acceptances. So Solomon's Temple was accepted 1026 Tishri 7 by fire and cloud. Fire consumed the bull and cloud filled the temple. We published the 11 times of Abraham's prophetic times, from 1943 Nisan 14 BC to 2018 Nisan 14, the first Adamic Passover. We published that 39, 60 years on Tishri 7, 2016, where Simon's temple was accepted 1026 Tishri 7. And then we got this present understanding, this present prediction, we got it on Chislev 5, on the Zohar, on the late, late Zohar Pentecost, when we saw that it wasn't going to happen on the late, late Zohar Pentecost. I got it US time zone, Chislev 5, in conversation with Frank, who's in the US. It was actually Chislev 6, British time, but Frank, who's in the US, it was Chislev 5, and we worked it out speaking together. And then it's published on Chislev 7, UK time. The seventh day of the new secular year is Heshvan 7. The late version of that is Chislev 7. So the, it's the late new acceptance, it's the late new equivalent of Tishri 7, which was the old seventh day of the old secular year. So again, Solomon's Temple has been accepted on, on the seventh day. Actually, it's the seventh day of the seventh month of the seventh year of the Jericho campaign, which is the seventh day of the seventh new secular year taken late. Whereas Solomon's Temple was accepted on the seventh day of the seventh month of the seventh sacred year of temple building, actually, and the seventh old secular year of temple building. They're both 777 seven, seven, anyway, day, month, year. All right, now, four cute things to finish with. 42 months of revelation authority given to Satan from when he is thrown down Jacob's ladder. And that's 1600 stadia after the city is installed. And the city was installed on 2010 Heshvan 21, subject to a malediction, the Alienation Times. And 1600 days after that, which is 2015 ER1. So we were installed over the non proselyte 2 NCs on 2010 Heshvan 21, but it was subject to the 2 NC alienation time. So although we were installed over them, we were subject to a malediction for seven years when we couldn't actually do anything with them. We couldn't act as a priest. I don't see how we could have possibly been installed. I don't see how the city could have come into existence. I guess we were installed subject to the malediction. That must be it, because at the end, 2017, Heshvan 21, we are installed. Well, we, are, we, we become operational. So we must have been in, installed subject to the malediction of seven years, then we become operational at the end of the malediction. So we, our, our, all our installation is suspended in operational terms for seven years by the malediction. It's a bit of a compl complex concept. But we were certainly appointed Heshvan 2 2010. We were then installed Tishri 2 2010 over the non proselyte 2 NCs. And then we were installed Heshvan 21, but not operational due to the malediction until seven years, until 2017 Heshvan 21, when we were instantly operational, having been appointed and installed, but having been maledicted for seven years. That's it. And that's the 42 months of authority to act of Revelation 13. And so that ends 42 months later, which is 
Tishri 30 2018, which is the end of FRC sealing, and you have to have a satanic Caesar in order to be FRC sealed, and that is the only reason that Satan is permitted to rule in order to sort the sheep out from the goats under satanic test. That's why he's given 42 months of authority to act after he'd lost the war, because God uses that period to, to, to see who is who. It's not that he doesn't know, he already knows, but it's to teach us what we like and what we need to work on and where we're weak and where we're strong. Now also Tishri 30, 2018, which is the end of the secular year, and these are all proofs that the secular year does end on that day, is 6,000 days plus 110 days of Ezekiel 47 after the Watchtower lost its water baptism with their awful letter to the Bethels saying, oh no, we only joined the UN to get a library card. So that letter was 2001 Heshvan 10. You count 6,000 days of the measuring line, 1,000 long, 1,000 cubits measuring line of uh, Ezekiel 47, which was in his hand, and he's journeying eastward, that counts as six times, that's 6,000 days. And then 110 days when he couldn't act as a priest, because we died to Adam 2012, Sivan 14, and were inst reinstalled on Tishri 5. So if you add that all up, you get 6,110 days. That takes you from Heshvan 10, 2001, to 2018, Tishri 30. And the water was flowing out of the temple, that is, down the steps, that's people leaving the temple, that's the result of the water baptism going at the, at the Lord's... At the, but the watchtower, they lost their water baptism 2001, Heshvan 10, a baptism of repentance, because they were unrepentant for joining the UN, putting throne of Satan in the Temple of Jehovah and riding the wild beast as a harlot. So that is a really good proof that the that, that FRC is sealing against Tishri 30. Then you've got Revelation 18, uh, the mixing the twice the double of the cup and as render as she rendered, and you count that up at 16 times, it's 16 months from the first watchtower Passover, which is left 14, 20, 17 to the very last judgment on Adam, which is in 2019, Nissan 40, third Abrahamic Passover, 16 months. Since we know that 2019, Nissan 14 is correct, because it's the end of Adam, has to be Nissan 40, 16 months prior to that is Chisler 14, 2017, that must be a Passover. And finally, the 70 weeks of Daniel 9 from Chisler 5, which is still the appointment of the third Holy Spirit is on it's when they went forth, when the word Jesus Christ went forth as high priest of his church, 70 weeks later is 2019 Nissan 14, the absolute end of Adam and of unsealed Abraham. That is 70 weeks upon the people. All right, so so that's it. So we've got the second fire sign is December 3rd, 4th, which is Sunday, Monday. And the third fire sign is December 14th, 15th, which is Thursday, Friday, the day before the Sabbath. Thank you.